Hey y'all, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Had a member request uh, to make a paned glass window looking thing. Alright, so I have all of these panes here. Um, just did the six uh, squares, so let's bring them all out here. Okay, actually I'm going to back them up a little bit. I'm going to object. I'm going to group these so that I can center them to the page here. Now I'm going to use this little guy. An object transform auto fit to the page. Okay, so that made that one like that. You know what? Let's just, we'll just use a regular square. So either you can use that hollowed out square or this big one. I'm just going to use the big one. i to fit it to the page. Okay, so now I need to click off of that, click back on it. We're going to do a path. We're going to keep the front and subtract the back. And wait for it to work. Okay, so here's my little window. And let's see, yeah, we'll decrease it to that size or increase it. If you want to do a four pane window, whatever you want. But the thing is, is she wants to have it to where it appears like it's snow in the window. Um, and she's having a really hard time. Uh, like if you want to do a note edit you see there's only four so if you try to do that well of course you take the pen and you can add the nodes but an easier way to approach this is to just take some uh, shapes that are uh, in your library here and stack them all up some sort of way just kind of start building what looks like a little bit of snow where it would be like sitting in the window and then come up here oops path and then the union okay so that looks somewhat decent we're going to give it a nice square base Oops. Make sure you fill it all in. Of course, I have my brush really small. And then when you do that, make sure you do a path and then highlight it all. Path union. Okay, so now let's set it in here. Size it so that it actually looks like snow. Let me add another little something to the end here so that it's not chopped off. Using my arrow key there. Okay, and now let's duplicate it. Okay, and now let's transform. Let's mirror this. So with those, do a path union. Okay, so now let's do the whole thing, path union, and see what that gives us. 
and wait forever and a day for it to start working. Okay, finally clicked in. So that, to me, looks like snow. And if you want to, you can start to further node edit it to give it a smoother uh, decrease so that it doesn't just drop suddenly. Let's click off of that. Okay. So just keep tweaking these nodes, and that's all you need to do. Just like that. Alright, so uh, if you have any further questions, come and find me over at Scan and Cut, Canvas, and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys.